Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the second LPL Fantasy Match Preview. This is for the second game that's going to be happening between Candy and Colombo. And again, we'll go in the same format. First, we'll discuss the squads that are available and the guys who we expect for to start. And post that, we'll look at the base team that we have set up. And we have Nikhil Bhai. Game 2, Nikhil Bhai. How do you feel like it's going to go? Do you feel like it, this is going to be the Jayamata, the tournament of the year? Or we still have something better left in the last one month to come? There is the ownership of Jayamata, the league, the Big West League. So, I don't think that uh, I can transfer to any other league. So, before that, I think this could be a mini version of it. With a lot of big names. So, I'm very keen to see how they are used. Because a lot of them are slightly aging stars. So, hmm. let's see how that goes. Right. So, let's look at first up the squad of the Colombo Stars. Now, when you look at their squad release that they have for now, Benny Howell, Angelo Matthews. Angelo Matthews, we'll see him in action after a bit. And then we have a lot of experienced names in here. We also have some new talent like Lakshan. You have Van Der Sey as one X-Factor. So, who do you see as your two X-Factor picks when you look at the squad? Uh, I think two very distinct picks for me, uh, and very obvious ones are that. Uh, one would be Navinu Luck. Uh, hmm. I've been back him for a long time, ever since his uh, T20 days, domestic T20 days. So he's somebody who bowls the uh, end overs, sometimes hmm. also bowls up front, and can get you very handy wickets. So that will be the one pick for me. While there are enough Sri Lankan players for you to target, so I'm again going with another Afghan player, and that is hmm. uh, Karim Jandal. Purely on the potential that he has with both bat and ball. Uh, we've seen that in that recently concluded T10 as well. He could hmm. potentially open as well, bowl the key overs. So, he'll always be in the game. And I think uh, in this league, it's going to be important to back players who are doing key roles for their sides. So, I think these two, I'm very interested to see how they go. Right, absolutely. Guys who get game time will probably be the key in that aspect. My two picks for this specific series, one is going to be Niroshan Dikwella. He'll provide X-Factor up top and he's someone who can make really good use of the power play. So, I'm not looking at 50s and 60s there, but quick 30s with boundary points and keeping points if Chandiman does not take the gloves. And the second pick is Dhananjay Lakshan. He just got into the Sri Lankan team. He'll bowl at the death for this specific team, at least what he's done in the past. And he's also in the LPL come and opened the batting in the past. Because again, he's someone who can ha yield the willow. So, I think he'll be a good pick for you to try. And he's also very low on ownership currently across various platforms. So, I'm surprised to see that. But yes, I think he can be of good use. Now, let's yes. look at what is presented to us. Candy. And uh, before uh, Nikhil Bhai says it... Uh, Hasaranga is not allowed as X-Factor pick, so you have to move on from there. One uh, key yeah. point for you to keep in mind is everybody would be looking out for Patirana, but again, he got injured in the T10, so his availability yeah. is a question mark. So, something for you to keep in mind when you make your picks, yes. because typically in this league, we have seen that lineups come in the last 8-10 minutes. Sometimes they just come in the last 2-3 minutes, so this free yeah. information will help you set up your team. So, Nikhil Bhai, what do you think are two good picks for you to pick as X-Factors from here? Uh, one would be the guy who's on the screen, and that is uh, not Hasaranga, but Chamika Kaunarathi. I think Sri Lanka have also trusted him a lot uh, mm. with both bat and ball and in key phases, and he can do well. So, I feel if he's used well mm. and also bowling in the end of us, then he could be a very, very big player for them. And how his form is could decide how long, how far they go in the tournament. And uh, while hmm. there is a lot of options in Udana, Ahmed Daniel, uh, Ashin Mandara, Najibullah Zadar, one of my favorites, I'll probably still side with Fabian Allen because I feel he's a very, very good left arm option to have. And hmm. acrobatic fielder, we are definitely going to see four or five special catches. And he could also contribute a lot with the bat. I think his batting potential is still not tapped into much. So hmm. maybe this might be the league that does it more often. Right, very fair picks. Uh, and while the second one was my X Factor pick too, uh, I'll go with just one pick in that case, Patum Nisanka. He yeah. is someone who, like I always say across previews, takes his time. And while at times that might look harmful for the format or for the team, it's not harmful for us in terms of fantasy points. So 
he'll surely be X factor in your fantasy team. I don't know on the field. And uh, the second pick, I am going very left field here. So excuse me if it does not work at all. But Ashan Bandara, because he's very active in the field. He's that kind of guy who can take yeah. three, two, three catches in the, in the deep. He's not someone who's going to waste his time when he comes out to bat. He'll hit a few boundaries. Not again someone who'll hit 20, 25, but quick runs. And he's someone who can turn his arm over too. So if you see the pitches slowing down through the second half of the season, he can be that all three facets kind of player for you. And when you see that happening right after that second game, ensure you pick him because on the third game onwards, everyone will have him anyway. So yeah. I think he yes. can be a pick for you to watch out for. So yeah. now let's look at what base team we have set up for this specific game. Yes. Yep. You can see on my screen, this is the base team that we have gone with. And we have gone with two guys. One is my X-Factor, Niroshan Dikwella. And the other one is Dinesh Chandimal, who has been picked on the man on your screen's insistence. Not because he has any favoritism there, but he is in the similar mold to what you see with Nisanka. He'll take his time and he'll give you a lot of fantasy value. So I think he's a very good pick. And in the batting, we have gone with Nisanka and Najibullah. Nikhil, why anybody else that you see getting picked from the specific sections? Uh, again, we've, we've gone with the tried and tested method of going with internationals who are likely to get a good role. Uh, this is also a good time mm. when a new tournament is starting, when the new lineups are also issued. When you watch the game, this is the time to make notes and have a rough idea that for each team, who is playing what role. Now, Chandimal could potentially open, not open, bat at four or five. His role could change and then his fantasy potential as well. So, uh, hmm. excuse us for not knowing the exact spot for him. Uh, so, apologies for that because we don't have an exact idea that where he definitely back. But because he's somebody who's experienced, he's probably going to getting probably going to get a very good role, and he will hmm. not keep. I think Dikvela will keep. So that is also a point that you can take with Chandimal whether you feel he's worth it in your team or niche batting career if he's batting low. So, in that case, you will can always back multi-facet players. Apart from these four, any batter who feel, if plays and you feel is in better touch, then these four, please go ahead and take him. First few games will always be very tricky to nail the batter because nobody will be sure of the exact. Right, I think we have uh, uh, lost Nikhil Bai on the line there. <laughs> And uh, there was a small, that was a short 10 minute non uh, commercial break. So, yes, that was uh, that is the two picks, and we are making full use of the fact that we can go only with two batters on fan to play. So, we have tried to utilize that, and we have covered that up in the next section with the all rounders. And here we have gone with the best all rounders that are on offer to you, all five, many of whom are probable CVC choices across teams based on like Fabian Allen, if he bats first, bowl second. Kareem Jannat while bowling for especially Lakshan if he bowls first and Chamika is also an X-factor like you all know. So, yes. any additions here, Nikhil Bhai, or we have enough all-rounders, you think? No, it's the best app for the past coffee. Hai. Uh, again, rules, <laughs> as we said, are very critical. Uh, if you see Kareem Jannat not bowling in the end because they have Lakshan hmm. and, and Navin Ulak as well. So, who plays, who is going to be using what role? You can definitely change uh, post that. And here is also the trick with Manindu Asaranga. Hmm. There will be games where he will not work. But most of the games, he's going to be a common captain. So, possibly in your team one, you can always have him. But team two, if you think he will fail, that is the best hmm. place to invest in mini jails and multi winner contest because the day that risk click, clicks for you, you will be right up top because it's going to be very hard for anybody to leave him out. But if you find something that, okay, against this particular opponent, I feel mm. he may not take more than one. Then only it's a good thing for you because the moment he takes more than one wicket, because he also takes LW board more, it's going mm. to be hard to cover up 66 points. So uh, that is something to keep in mind, but then also a very good grinding suggestion. Right. Uh, before we move to the next section, one question that I had for you here is that we see Hasaranga being used at the death at points. Do you see that happening even in the Lanka Premier League or you feel like that's something they use only against foreign teams in the, on the national stage? 
Yeah, I think that is going to be a key aspect as well because a lot of times you see most of these teams have a lot of options. So mm-hmm. necessarily it's not needed that all, most of the key bowlers bowl all four. So mm-hmm. which is why the point about making notes. Okay, who is being used where? What are the possible mm-hmm. options that the teams have? So one of them could still pull one over at least in the end overs. But if they mm-hmm. have enough good overs, maybe that last over might be the 16th over or the 15th over. And then the 2-2 pacers uh, possibly take ahead. So that could be the way to go. So it will depend all on the 11 that the sides uh, uh, pick up. Right. And uh, before we move to the bowlers, another thing that I want to add here is that we will see a lot of subcontinent players in this league. Yeah. While we see Hasranga taking a lot of those yes. death wickets against foreign teams. So maybe, just maybe that point comes in where in a few games, the good spin players, maybe someone like Shoaib Malik when he's batting at the end, now, I'm, now that I'm plugging mm-hmm. that in. Or someone like Najibullah, not necessarily all being from his team, but there are batters of that class who are going to finish the batting in the death overs. So in that case, you might be able to remove him from captaincy or vice captaincy. And in the final two, we have gone with the two death bowlers, both who have been in really good form in the death of late Naveen Ulak and Kasun Rajita, who bowled really well in the last series. So yeah. that is what rounds up the team for us. And and uh, again, if you miss X Factor picks, make sure that you watch the start of the preview so you're covered on that. And also keep in mind that we have a jersey giveaway for the first LPL game, not for this one, yeah. for the first one. So go and answer that question so that you don't miss out on that. And we hope that all of you enjoyed this preview. Have a great game. Yes, please invest smartly. Have a good game.